Go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome to the House Republicans uh, Press Availability. Uh, we're in the 10th day of, uh, of the session. Number of issues out there. Uh, I'll just start out a little bit with finances up and uh, running. They're meeting in subcommittees. As a matter of fact, I think today I have a uh, subcommittee on uh, fisheries budget. So uh, it'll be some things that uh, we're taking uh, in today and through the week. Uh, I'd also like to uh, give a shout out to my sister since it's her birthday today and uh, she is older than I am which I'm sure she'll appreciate. Anyway, uh, with us today, uh, I have uh, Representative Tallarico, Representative Johnston, Representative uh, Birch, myself, uh, Representative Chenault, and uh, Rouser, uh, Representative Rouser is set to join us uh, when he gets here. So with that, uh, I'll uh, open it up to members. And uh, Dave, if you'd like to start out, we'll just go right around the table. Dave? Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, well, I'm, uh, I, I kind of want to reiterate what the speaker said. We have gotten a subcommittee process, finance subcommittee process started, and I, I've uh, attended to both the, uh, we've done education, we've also done corrections, and this afternoon we'll be doing, I'll, I'll be in the public safety, and I think that's a really good sign that we get working on this as quickly as possible and get efficient with it. <coughs> and, uh, We've uh, started with uh, a resource meeting has already met and uh, started community and regional affairs started this morning. So um, I kind of like to hit the ground aggressively and, and get started right away in the session. And I think uh, we're on our way to do that. So um, with that, I'll make that my opening okay. statement. Delaney. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, I, we're getting started with the budget process also, and I think we're off to a good start. I think we're all optimistic that this will be a, a little better process this year and we can move through it quickly. I know we all want to see this um, done efficiently and done well. Um, we did start out resources right out of the gate with a tax bill, so we're working on that, um, HB 288. So uh, we got a lot of things before us already, um, so we're moving right along. Chris. Well, good morning. Uh, I, uh, I, I'm looking forward to the session as well. Uh, we've had a number of uh, finance uh, subcommittee meetings uh, already. Uh, I'm serving uh, this year on uh, resources, state affairs, and uh, labor and commerce. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping, uh, however, this year that we can focus uh, first on the budget. I know last year we, we you know, the, it took some time to get the uh, operating budget, put a lot of people, uh, a lot of uncertainty, uh, and I would uh, certainly, and, and I know we as a, uh, as a body have, uh, uh, have encouraged the uh, House leadership to focus on getting the budget done and getting us uh, uh, in and wrapped up in for the the work for the people of the state of Alaska in the, the first 90 days this year. Thank you. With that, I'm sure we'll get into a lot of other subjects, but uh, with that, uh, we'll open it up to uh, questions and see where we go. Uh, Tim Bradner, Legislative Digest. Education funding bills that are in the House and Senate. Well, I think our, um, which which I think is great. I know that our, our education chair has uh, has certainly um, put the focus on the budget subcommittee, which is which is an incredibly important process. And it, it certainly sounded like to me that we'll be we'll be diving into that and and being as efficient as possible. Um, you know that I've I've always heard that we we hold up education in the budget and everything. That's that's I don't th I don't believe there's anybody in the building that's ever been their intent to do that. But it is, you know, it's it's one facet of our budget. So um, we're, I'm I like the idea that we're hitting the ground running and we're looking into the budget right now. Of course, we we just got started recently, and all the different things that are in there. But uh, no nobody nobody ever intends to hold that up, you know, and, and get it going. There's still uh, we had a lot of questions, a lot of different things. We didn't we didn't even make it through the entire presentation. Um, so we're scheduled to meet. Uh, there's going to be a, jo a joint meeting this afternoon with Labor and Commerce, but uh, tomorrow morning I think we're going to continue on with our budget subcommittee talks. And uh, I like the idea of, of just hitting the ground running, working through the subcommittee process right away so that we can get that, at least whatever we're going to do on the subcommittee, get that moved to get it over to finance and, and, and get the process going. I'm still looking through uh, the budget. Um, I'm 
maybe not as fast a learner, as fast a reader as some of the other folks, because I, I kind of like to go, go through it detail, page by page. Um, I always have an interest in the impact and uh, different things that will happen in my district, but also what, what else happens statewide. And uh, it's interesting when I look at that, because my district is so diverse. And, and, and you know, um, I, I may be the only person that actually has seven different school superintendents that somehow or another touch a piece of my district or are completely enveloped in my district. So um, I certainly get a lot of input from the superintendent end of that. But uh, I, I, I just like the idea that we've gotten started right away and it looks like we're going to be very aggressive in, in uh, working through a subcommittee process. And that, that helps all of the rest of the legislators uh, to uh, keep this rolling. Chris? I would say the you know as far as uh, parsing the budget out and having you know uh, uh, one segment or one uh, you know component of the budget approved early, I, I've got some concerns about that because I think the, the budget is a complete document. You have to look at the entire picture. You need to uh, you you know I don't think it's necessarily appropriate as as important as I think uh, our public schools are. Uh, I think uh, public safety is important. I think you know uh, plowing our roads are, are important, and uh, I think the last thing anybody in, in at least certainly in our our group is interested in doing is is getting the the pink slip uh, parade going again. You know? so I think you know our interest in getting the budget done early is is uh, you know well intended, and I think that we need to zero in on that. But I think we do need to look at it as a complete budget. We need to look at the the, the, the full scope, of, you know, and and certainly education is a very key and uh, critical piece of that. But uh, and, and and frankly, one of the largest pieces, in addition to the uh, health, the you know health services, uh, one of the largest pieces of the budget. But I. I for my, you know, in, in particular, having experienced a number of uh, uh, budgets, uh, development of budgets in, in local government, where you deal with everything kind of all at the same time. So I, uh, I'm, I'm willing to take a look at it, you know, individually, and 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 you know, see what the, you know, what the intent and the objective is. Uh, but uh, you know, my preference would be, to, I think, to, to kind of group everything together. Thank you. Rich. Yeah. Hi, Rich Mauer, Channel Two News. Uh, so uh, Wednesday, I think it was Wednesday, uh, one of the committees heard House Bill 25, the contraceptives, contraceptives bill, wondering if the House minority has an opinion on whether there should be a requirement in, uh, in law saying insurance must cover contraceptives. Anybody? Not in my world anymore. Uh -huh. And Rich, I I didn't hear the the yeah. committee. Okay. Uh, I don't think that uh, you know at this point in time I can tell you whether it's a, a caucus decision or not because uh, it's been, probably as a subject that we haven't talked about. It's been around for a year. Yeah. Well, how many committees have it, has it had? And mm -hmm. and uh, apparently. None of the four sitting at this table or on that committee to be able yeah. to hear that bill. So. Okay, thanks. Anyone else? Anybody else? Well, thanks for coming. Uh, we've got a number of issues out there. We've got uh, fishing issues uh, with House Bill 199. Uh, there was a uh, uh, committee substitute was reintroduced. Uh, yes. Yes, day before yesterday, uh, we heard it in committee and uh, plan on hearing considerably more about it since it is uh, of vital interest apparently to all Alaskans because there's an initiative out there uh, that somewhat mirrors uh, House Bill 199. I want to thank uh, uh, Representative Stutes, who's the sponsor of that bill, for uh, introducing her latest uh, version of it. Uh, I don't know if it goes too far. I don't know if it goes far enough. Uh, you know, I do know that, uh, uh, you know, under our current permitting process, uh, it's protected salmon habitat since statehood, and, and the proponents of House Bill 199 uh, so far have uh, not shown me why we need this bill. So that's a, a piece of legislation that's going around. Uh, also interesting that uh, we didn't talk a lot about uh, House Bill 288, which is the oil and gas tax bill. So there's a number of uh, important issues that deal with Alaskans and jobs every day. And uh, uh, those are the things that uh, 
we see as important issues uh, before us today. George, since you got here, I'm sure you were busy doing something else, but uh, you got anything to say before I close out the meeting? Yeah, I appreciate it. I was down in uh, resource, uh, down in uh, uh, actually uh, community and regional affairs. We were talking about a bill where the municipalities would like to uh, tax uh, the guides for the hunters that are in their area and uh, the amounts that they're wanting to do that and the volume of information that they're wanting to collect for that to happen. So that was quite the uh, uh, quite the rousing debate down there as far as safety is going and uh, I'm just looking forward to HB 6 being passed this year Of course, that's been sitting there since last year. It's doing really well. It made it through all its committees. It's waiting to go to the floor um, looking forward to uh, This year uh, this is uh, we're trying to get the budget out faster this year We're trying to get it done in due time the people have wanted that to happen for a while I think it's uh, I think it could happen and we're looking forward to that Appreciate my colleagues here. Appreciate this year. Looking forward to uh, th the events that may happen in the next few weeks. So, appreciate that time. And one, la and I've got one last thing. Uh, congratulations to uh, John Lincoln. Uh, maybe the house will be whole again, uh, at least for a while. And uh, don't know a lot about him. I've heard good things. Uh, so, I guess if the House uh, Democrats approve him, then uh, we'll be back to full strength at the House and uh, we'll be able to get the people's business done. So with that, anybody else? We're adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.